you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. If they're if they're actually really worried about people and they want them in treatment and they don't know and they don't understand that forcing them is not the right way to do it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Next stop, Hamilton Street. get tired of being wrong all the time. Drug policy experts and people who use drugs say they're concerned that the BC NDP and the BC Conservatives are both open to forced treatments. The BC Conservatives made a promise this week to force people with substance use disorders into treatment if elected, and the BC NDP leader, David Eby, two years ago when he was on the campaign trail for the premiership, suggested that involuntary care was necessary for severe overdose cases. And they're being awful at your job is tight. When asked about this at a press conference Thursday, Eby wouldn't confirm what his stance is. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. Conservative Party has said its involuntary treatment program would support people who, quote, pose a risk to themselves and others. At the moment, people can be taken into care under the Mental Health Act if they pose a risk to themselves or others. But what the Conservatives put forward has to do with substance use. Attention, whoever you are, this channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Oh, no fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? For many decades, we have seen that involuntary care does not work. It is not effective and it can have serious repercussions. Good God, you're a woman. I honestly, I couldn't have called that. DJ Larkin with the Canadian Drug Policy Coalition says the research on forced treatment has shown it doesn't work at a systemic level and it has been harmful. One of the key concerns is that someone who is put in through an involuntary care process, if they use drugs from the unregulated market after that, they are dramatically higher risk a fatal overdose. Is the argument reductive? No. The value of the dollar is reductive. This is a stupidity souffle. I could eat alphabet cereal and nine hours later literally shit a better argument. Meanwhile, Scotty Arcondas says he was rejected three times when he tried to go to addiction treatment because a rapid access clinic didn't have space for him. So going forward um, with uh, a forced treatment, I, I, I question whether they, the logistics are there to for people to, um... T -t 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 Today, Junior! Vandu is really concerned that both the government and the Conservatives are now talking about involuntary treatment. Oh, no! Anyway, last week... We don't need a world where police or judges or some kind of official is empowered to lock us up. Huh? If you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train besides vaccinated people and put them at risk. Two days later. Just days before the start of the provincial election campaign, BC Premier David Eby announced that a billion dollars has been set aside to provide involuntary care under the Mental Health Act for people with severe addiction, mental illness, or brain injuries. Yeah, we did this already. That's what's so fucked up. All right, fine. Fine, here. Here you go. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Here. The province plans to add more than 400 mental health beds at new and expanded hospitals in BC and is working with Dr. Daniel Vigo, BC's first chief scientific advisor, on implementing practices informed by evidence-based research.
Oh, fuck off. EB is also calling on the federal government to invest more in the Canada Border Services Agency and the RCMP to stop drugs from getting into the province. You some bitches couldn't close an umbrella. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone.